So in this class, I want to look at deriving the combination formula. Deriving a formula for n choose or. We know the permutation formula. We've derived that in a previous class. The permutation formula says n permute or is n factorial divided by n minus or factorial. I want to derive the combination formula. So I'm going to look at a couple of examples and then hopefully spot a pattern and then we'll be able to identify it. So first of all, 3 choose 2 and 3 permute 2. What does this mean? Well, we're taking a population of three things. Let's call it ABC. And I want to look at all the choices of 2. If I look at all the choices of 2, there are AB, AC, or BC. There are three choices. Three choose two. There are three different ways I can choose two things from a population of three. Okay? But how many permutations are possible? Well, permutations means we can change the order. AB is the same choice as BA, but it's a different permutation. AC is the same choice as CA, but it's a uh, uh, different permutation. BC is the same choice as CB, but a different permutation. So there are six ways. Notice it was this three that we got up here, and then doubled. Why doubled? Well, because, you know, I want to take AB and see how many ways I can arrange AB. So first task, choose a letter. Second task, choose a second letter. There's two times one way I complete task one, followed by task two. That's two factorial. So what I'm getting is three by two factorial. Where does this three come from? Well, three is the number of choices. So three choose two is equal to, I'm uh, sorry, three choose two times two factorial is giving me three permute two. Another way to say that is that 3 choose 2 is equal to 3 permute 2 divided by 2 factorial. Okay, and we know that 3 permute 2, we know that 3 permute 2 is defined as 3 factorial divided by 3 minus 2 factorial. And if I divide that by one, by 2 factorial, well, that's the same as multiplying by 1 over 2 factorial. So what I'm getting there is 3 permute 2 is 3 factorial over 2 factorial times 3 subtract 2 factorial. So that's 3 choose 2. And look at another example, and then we'll just identify the pattern, and we we'll kind of that's kind of it. I want to think about five choose three and five permute three. What does this mean? Well, the population size is five. I've got five things. Let's just call them A, B, C, D, and E, and I want to look at all the choices, taking three at a time. Taking three at a time. I've done out a table here. Taking three at a time. There are ten choices. There they are listed. A, B, C, A, B, D, A, B, E, A, C, D, A, C, E, A, D, E, B, C, D, B, C, E, D, B, D, E, and C, D, E. There are ten different choices. Ten different choices. And each of those choices, how many ways can I arrange each of those choices? Well, how many ways can I arrange A, B, C? Well, there's three by two by one way, which is three factorial ways to arrange that which is 6. So each of these arrangements, or each of these combinations, can be arranged in 6 different ways. So there's a table showing all possible permutations. So what do we have? We've got my 10 choices here, multiplied by the 6 ways to arrange each one. The 10 comes from 5 choose 3, and the 6, well that comes from 3 factorial. So 5 permute 2, 3 is equal to 5 choose 3. 5 permute 3 is equal to 5 choose 3 multiplied by 3 factorial. 
We have a formula for 5 per mu 3. We said that's 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 3 factorial. And that's going to equal to 5 choose 3 multiplied by 3 factorial. Dividing on both sides by 3 factorial there will give me a formula for 5 choose 3. 5 choose 3 is going to equal to 5 factorial over, we're dividing on both sides by 3 factorial, so that goes under the fraction bar on the left, times 5 minus 3 factorial. And there's my formula for 5 choose 3. In general, and you just need to learn this off, n choose or can be found by n factorial over or factorial times n minus or factorial, where n is the population size and or is the number of things I want to choose. So choices versus permutations, you've got to know that formula, be able to apply it, but remember there is a calculate button in your calculator that will help you find and choose your for given natural numbers. Okay? On my calculator, that's the second function of the division key. So deriving the combination formula, that is the combination formula. You've got to remember it. Let me go back to my original page. And choose or is n factorial over or factorial times n minus or factorial. And if I multiply that one by or factorial, I get that. So n p or is n choose or multiplied by or factorial. Okay? Which means the number of permutations is always greater than or equal to the number of combinations. Okay? An interesting result as well. All right? So get used to your formulas and practice uh, some of these problems from your textbooks.